Hey everyone, welcome to Pain Labs. Um, this is a project called Beats by Teensy, which I built <coughs> probably two and a half years ago now. Um, it's very much a work in progress. I got a long way through it. Um, there's no actual sides and back to it at the moment. It's literally suspended on some legs. And I'm not going to show you the wiring underneath because it's fairly delicate. If I can show you maybe the side view, you can see it's fairly complicated down there. Um, but, and we've got everything still on a breadboard as you can see. You can see there's a Teensy 3.2 there and an audio board. And that's it. I put, put the little memory chip onto the audio board and I've loaded samples onto that little memory chip. And we've got a pretty good result. Um, it needs a lot of work. There's a lot that can be done with this layout. The whole idea of it really is to basically be sort of like uh, an NPC but I wanted to make a standalone MPC that would run purely as a Teensy. So the idea is to have a little simple sequencer, like a 32 step sequencer built into this, um, which also supported uh, quantize and, and that sort of thing. And also had these, uh, I forget what it's called now, it's been so long since I worked on it. Um, but basically to, I wanted to try and duplicate the feel that you used to get from the MPC. It, it's got functionality which allows you to add sort of like a vibe to the rhythm so you've got a 32 step sequencer but it adds delays on certain steps and that is what the MPC sound is and that's basically it's called the soul of hip hop I forget what it's called, I'm ever so sorry but anyway, um, somebody's worked out what those delays are and I found it on a forum somewhere so I was going to program it into this so that it would actually in theory be able to do a large proportion of what the first MPCs did but perhaps um, not what they're doing today because they're pretty complicated beasts but um, yeah it's one of those projects of something that I just wanted to do not something that's really practical to do so I'll power up and you can see there we've got this little LCD display here um, still a long way to go with it the menu system isn't doing doing anything there's basically I've a lot of these buttons don't do anything yet um, you've got a 16 level mode I want to implement quantize um, setting the tempo rates, that sort of thing. So tap tempo to set the tempo of a little sequencer. Um, play and pause and stop and record and overdub and all of that sort, all those lovely things. Um, I haven't done that bit yet. I've made some start. I made a start on it all, but I haven't done it yet. So anyway, uh, what does it do at the moment? I just thought I'd document it whilst I'm part way through. So these pads have basically four different instruments selected by these. You can tell which instrument you're on by the color of this backlight, which is RGB. At the moment, this is the sample version. So you've got a little sound card bolted straight onto a little Teensy 3.2. And I've got a whole bunch of samples in there. I'm no good at finger drumming, but you can see, I'll show you the, the principle of it all. Obviously, if you were good at finger drumming, you'd be able to do something decent with this. This is actually a sound set from Madzak that you can download from djtechtools.com. Um, some great sound packs there. If you're not good at setting up sounds, recommended because it just sorts everything out for you. Um, so you've got loads of samples built in and the latency is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it for a little embedded board that costs 20 quid. Um, it's really amazing. The sound quality is pretty darn good as well. Obviously it's not um, audio file with this. You can get audio file boards to plug in that will do audio file level 24-bit. Um, uh, um, I wouldn't bother going above uh, 48 kilohertz, I think, because there's not really any benefit to it if you ask certain sound engineers. But anyway, I digress. So this is the sample one, and one of the benefits is you can hear that. You can do crabbing if you do crabbing. And it really is very responsive. So it's uh, it's definitely a success in that respect already. Um, the only other thing I have set up is an early synth, which you can't hear too well. This is very early days of the synth function on the TNC audio board. There's a lot more good stuff. This is not a showcase of the audio system from PJRC and the Teensy board because there's so much more that that can do at the moment, but it gives you some idea. And 
And I just put a blues riff in there so you can't really get any notes wrong. So anyway, uh, things to add next are um, another set of sounds and then I'm going to have, this is basically the lead synth, this is going to be a bass line synth and this is going to be sort of, um, I think probably, probably more samples, um, possibly another synth type depending on what I can get. But um, then it's just a simple 32 step sequencer to sequence these four instruments play pause and stop and then the only other thing I've got to be able to do is find a way to actually build a very very simple song based on patterns and that sort of thing into this so um, a lot of work to be fair um, which is why it's kind of sat there um, I think I took on a little bit too much work but um, I thought I'd document where it is at the moment um, happy geeking and yeah Teensy's absolutely rock thank you Paul Stoffrigan